So, say you're at a meeting and your colleague makes a suggestion and you disagree with it. How would you respond? Would you say, you must be joking? Or, are you kidding me? Or would you say, I'm not sure about that? Or, I see your point, but I think. We all have our own opinions about things and sometimes we disagree. It's important to be able to do this politely. Saying something like, I'm not sure about that, or I see your point, but shows that you've listened and understood, but you see things differently. There's not very much difference here, but some options are more common in one variety of English than another. For example, you must be joking is used more in British English, and you've got to be kidding me is used more in American English. But while these expressions may be okay amongst friends, they're too informal and direct for a work situation where they would be considered rude. If you want to stress disagreement, you can say absolutely not or certainly not. These are quite forceful expressions. Informally, no way means the same thing. If you disagree with someone, but neither of you will change your mind, a useful phrase is let's agree to disagree. This politely acknowledges both points of view and lets you move on. It's equally valuable to be able to agree with people in an appropriate way. And of course, agreeing with people is easier. There's less potential for hurt feelings. If your colleague says something you agree with, you can say, that's right, or simply yes. If you agree strongly, you can intensify it. Exactly. I totally agree. If you accept that someone is right, but you're not very happy about it, you can say, mm, I guess so, or I suppose. These are polite ways to proceed, while showing reservation rather than enthusiasm. In our next video, we'll look at some of the ways politeness differs between British and American English. See you then.